so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set line up the second color. I have found my worst print because huh. I'm going to tape it down. It's going to be wasted anyway. So I picked the one that was my first print from the last one, and I didn't like the color on it. I'm going to take that print, and I am going to line it up to my stencil. Now, it becomes very difficult to line up once we have ink on it. So I want to take my time and get it right where I want it before I even put any ink on my screen or start printing. And the hardest part here is I'm getting these really close to the edges so I don't have my white. And I'm actually going to probably try to bring them off just a little bit. Or actually just button them up as close as I can. And if that's the most time consuming, keeping an eye on the mouth here and make some judgments. And that there looks pretty clean to me. So at this point, I got my packaging tape and I'm going to tape this into place. Be very careful not to move my background as I am going. Now, all the paper is the same size, so I can use this to drop right on top, lining it up with the sheets. Again, that why it was why it was important on that first one to have it have it as tight on and getting it lined up as well as we could. Now, I decided on red. Take my red ink. Again, I'm going to spread that across the top just like I did with color number one. And just a little bead. You don't need an awful lot. What paper do you use red? This is red. It looks orange until it dries. But, fire red. i got to have faith. It's got a little orange tint to it. So I guess fire, when it gets hot, gets a little orange. Okay. Okay. So now i got that lined up. I'll take my first one here. And I'm going to line it up right to my paper here. Take my squeegee. Again, locking my wrist, pulling with my elbow. I'm going to come down across, getting good pressure. Now remember, I need a lot of downward pressure because I want that to go down and then pop off my stencil. So I have my color lined up there. Now, I'm off just a little bit, but uh, on my cuts, but I'm off just a hair down here. So I'm going to uh, try to account for that with this one by just moving it at a hair of an angle off my bottom one and remembering where that is. Again, I'm going to take a flood stroke back, come down, and pull. And up, and bam. Notice that I picked, chose my second worst one to do my first print on, because that first pull usually isn't the best. I'm going to put these down onto the drying rack, and I'm going to continue and print all ten of mine, assuming I had ten and didn't stop at four for some reason. So hopefully I get two good ones out of this. And pull. And onto the drying rack we go. And I continue on until I printed all of them. Again, you're going to turn in your two best, so that's why we wanted to do 10.